What's going on, everyone? Kevin here at False Coins, and you know what? It's getting close to the start of the new year. We're going to do something new on this channel. Yesterday, I went to my bank and cleared them out of nickels. Boom. Boom. Yep. We've got $80 worth of nickels here, so there's 40 rolls. I'm thinking we'll do each one of these bundles in a single video. And we're going to have the uh, great buffalo coin hunt. That's right, we're going to be hunting some buffaloes, hopefully. I know that one of these enders is actually a Canadian, if I can find it. It's right here. The queen in all of her glory. Canadian. So we know we're going to get at least a foreign in this lot. Don't know what else to expect. We could have silver. We could have buffaloes. We could have V nickels. Who knows? I definitely would like to get some silver. Maybe even a buffalo. But we do got a foreign already. So that's already taken care of. And I think we're going to get started. First eight rolls. Set these uh, others off to the side. First eight rolls right here. We're going to get into these. And see what we could find. I am going to put all my stuff in here. Except I am going to... I did want to have a separate container for mint marks. Uh, let's see. Problem is, is most of them are probably going to have mint marks after a while. This is what happens when you're not prepared. Oh well, I'll go back through the container later. And try to find RPMs and whatnot. But without further ado, let's get into these. Roll number one is coming right up. And. Let's dig in. Right, we do have our first 60s or older, and it is S66. Is it a Philly, Denver? It is a Philly. But our first 60s or older, we did manage to also get two 2005s. We've got a nope, 2004P Hill Boat and a 2005 Philly. Bison, and I do just happen to have my books right here. I'm missing D. O5D for both Ocean Over the View and American Bison. So close. But let's continue. All right, bringing it back in. Another 60s or older, and it is my buddy Kanan's favorite. It is a 64 out of Philly. Well, two 60s or olders at least. Just finish off this real quick. 2001, 84, 2004, another kill boat, and. 2008. All right. So we'll put these off to the side here. And 
we're going to dig into the next roll. We got a dark one. That could be anything, though. Let's take a look, shall we? At the dark one. While we're right here. It is dark because it is dirty. That's all. It's an 83. Oh, well. Time to dig in. All right, roll number two is done. All we managed to find was a 66 out of Philly. Only thing in roll number two. Roll number three is coming up though. Maybe it will have a little bit more luck. We won't know until we find out, until we get this open. All right, bon appetit. Didn't take long. Second coin into the roll. It was almost the under. We've got a 53. 53 out of Philly. But it is our first 50s. And it's a nice one. Let's continue. All right, bringing you back in again. This is actually a pretty nice roll. We had the 53. We've got another 64 right here. Didn't stop. Ooh, and then it's out of Denver, so we're definitely going to check for an RTPM on that later. But we've also got another find. Let's look at the back first. Let's get it on the big screen. It is out of Philly. Beat up on the back. But there you go. 1940. This would make it two years removed from its inaugural date. Not too shabby. It is beat up. But what do you expect from a 79, almost 80 year old coin now? I mean, really. <clears throat> but I will take it. Because it is a 1940. And we've got our first 40. Maybe we could get lucky and actually pull a 38 or 39 somewhere in all of these rolls. But for now, we're going to jump back into these and continue. Right, bringing you back in because roll number three is done but we've got a 69 out of denver it is a beautiful 69 out of denver back's a little chewed up but what do you expect not bad at all All right, should we roll number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Yep. Roll number four. Roll number three was not bad, though. I mean, it gave us a couple 60s and a 40. And I think that 53, I can't exactly remember off the top of my head, but it was still a nice roll to us. Still no 2009s, still no silver, no buffaloes, victories. But we're going to continue 
and we're going to start right off with a 1964 out of Denver. Yes, I know there was something like 2 billion made of these, but it is a 60, 60s coin, and there is a RPM on the 64 Ds, so we're definitely going to check for those later. But for now, I'm going to dig back into these and see what we can find. All right, roll number four is complete, and we did have three more 60s, so four in that roll, another 64 out of Denver. You're going to keep giving me 64 Ds, I'll gladly take them and look for the RPMs. We also had a 66 out of Philly. Slide these down. And 61. Out of Denver. Not too shabby. And 2005D is the great Buffalo. We have managed to find a Buffalo, but not a Buffalo nickel, but we found a Buffalo. So awesome on that. So that actually makes two of the buffaloes but the one that i needed now if we could just get the ocean in the view this book will be complete until the 2020s are out there we go it's home one to go <laughs> let's dig into roll number five and see what we can find All right, this roll is nice. We're going to start this off with the reason why I brought you back in. We've got a 57 out of Denver. So our second 50s of these 10 rolls. Also another 60. We've got a 63 out of Denver. We've got another keelboat, Lewis and Clark, out of Philly. We've got a Philadelphia ocean in the view. And... <laughs> 2005D Ocean in the view. I am going to put this in the book. I do have to remind myself to look at it later because I do know that there are some potential double dies. Hard to spot ones, but I, I've heard that there's double dies in this. So, for now, coin is going home. There we go. This book is officially complete. <sighs> until next, until, well, whenever the 2020s come out. But for now, we're going to dig back into this roll. This has been a great roll. Let's see what else we can find. <laughs> beautiful 1970d i did want to check to make sure it was not 
the uh, proof, because I'm not sure what the proofs looked like back then, but it, there was no D proofs, so we're just going to continue. Alright, jumping into roll number six. This kind of notice that almost looks like a face. Almost. What kind of goodies will roll number six bring us? Let's find out. Bringing you back in. We got a couple hits so far. We've got another ocean in the view out of Philly. We had a 66. I can't tell if there's actually a mint mark there and it's worn off. I'm just going to say out of Philly. But we've got another 50s. It is another 53 out of Philly. So, boom. Three coins from the 1950s. And two coins behind that. Well, one. Throw that out because that's just an 80. We've got a 46. 46 out of. San Francisco. Boom. Not bad at all. 46 out of San Francisco. Definitely not going to complain about that. We are getting closer to silver, people. I can almost taste it. But let's continue. That roll had one more surprise left in it. Another 66. Out of Philly. Just going to check something real quick. And we'll get on to roll number 7. Alright, so we're back. I just wanted to check the mintage on that 46S. It's about 13 million, so it's not too bad. Sometimes those 13 millions can be really easy to find. Sometimes they can be really difficult to find. So, very happy with that. But we're going to dig into roll number seven. We're getting close to a big hit. I can feel it. That 46 is just the appetizer. Can we find something super sweet? Let's find out. Three coins in, we've got, I'm not sure what this one's called, I think it's just called the Handshake, 2004 out of Denver, but we are still getting close, another 46, this one, sadly, out of Philly, but a 46 is still awesome. What is this? Oh, that's just an 81. Well, let's continue. Well, we did get another ocean in the view. And... A really nice 63 out of Philly, and it's just throwing me for a loop because it just feels a little heavier than normal. Not sure, but it is very clean. 
It's a beautiful 63 out of Philly. Well, we know we have one in one of the later rolls because it's an under, but we've got a foreign. Miss Queen Elizabeth. And it's a 96. So, first, non ender, foreign. Not bad. Come on. Right after that, a 69 out of Denver. And this roll continues to give. Boom. 1954. Out of Denver. Not too bad. I don't think we're doing too bad at all. Still no 2009s. I'm not expecting any. But it would be nice to find one or two. And end with all 64. Out of Denver. Keep giving me 64s if you want. Just make sure they're all out of Denver. Roll number eight. Kind of shaking a little. Huh. I don't know. What can be inside, boss? I don't know. I gotta open this up and find out. Let's dig in. I'm going to set this aside because that's why we stopped. But right here, we've got a 65 out of Philly. We've got another 64 out of Silly Philly and a 61 out of Philly. But this is why we stopped. We are dancing around the dates. Come on, people. 1941. And it is out of Philly, but 1941, nevertheless. Come on, we are dancing around this date. Come on. All right. That roll did not have any more surprises for us. Roll number nine. Two rolls left to go. Come on, we need a hit. We need a big hit. We need a good hit. Come on. Let's see what's inside. All right, this roll only gave us a Denver ocean in view and a really nasty looking 69. Final roll of this video. I'm really, I don't know. I want some silver. I can't complain. This is, I mean, this has been a good 10 rolls. <laughs> but I want some silver. This is the Great Buffalo Coin Hunt. And even though we found a couple 2005 Buffaloes, we 
you haven't found no good buffaloes. Final roll. Let's see what we can find. We find Canadian. 1999. Two foreigns. First 10 rolls. All right, the only thing in that rolls were a couple, couple 60s. We've got a 64 out of Philly, a 67 out of Philly, and a 61 out of Denver. So, not too bad, not too bad. Definitely going to have to, uh, definitely going to have to take a look. Every, I wanted to keep everything separate, but I didn't, so everything's in here. I am going to go back, look for any RPMs, any variations, double dies, stuff like that. So, but two foreigns, both Canadian. Surprise, surprise, as close to Canada as I am. Four 1940s dancing around the silver date, but no silver itself. Three 50s. And None of them, the 1950D, which is a key date. A buttload of 60s, most of them 64. Most of those 64s being Ds, hopefully we can find an RPM in those. R2005s and 4s, and sadly, no 2009s. No great buffaloes, but a couple minor buffaloes. So we'll call them bisons, actually. A couple bisons, no buffaloes. But I do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, because in 2020, we want to do great things on this channel, and we want to do some giveaways for subscribers. Other than that, I want to send out a message to Andrew Cooper and CC Bell. I have not sent out your giveaway winnings yet. I was waiting for the third winner. Give me their information. They have not given me the information. It's been actually a couple extra, almost a full week extra now. And still no word from them. So they are forfeiting that prize. And I will be, plus with the holidays, I will be getting both of your packages out shortly. Hang in there. I did not forget about you. But other than that, I will catch you all next time. We still have got 30 more rolls to go over there. Maybe we will get ourselves a buffalo. Maybe we'll get ourselves some silver. Who knows? But until then, we will see you next time. Peace out, everyone.